leave the paper cut alone, will ya? What do you mean? I took on a guy with a samurai sword. I'm basically a warrior. Warrior? Hello? Jake, it's Dad. Just a quick one. I'm just trying to find out when you're working till tonight. I'm on call, so I'm wondering if you could check in on Mum. Uh, yeah, I'm on late, so I can go in and check on her when I get back. OK, thanks. I appreciate it. I heard you uh, had a bit of a run-in earlier. <laughs> ah, it was nothing. Just a guy with a really big sword. We really dealt with him. Yeah, well, let's hope you're not in too many pieces right now. You know, the trick when someone has a weapon like that is to use it to your advantage, wait for them to swing. And then when they're off balance and vulnerable, then you knock them down. Use their own body weight against them. Yeah, OK, nice one. Understood. Thank you. They need us for a surveillance job, plain clothes. Bloody stakeout. out. What's wrong with that? I hate stakeouts. You been briefed? Yes, sir. Right. Call us if anything happens. Yes, sir. To him? Your mother Deborah has been brought into hospital. When? Earlier today. What, what happened? Uh, is she all right? Is she talking? Oh, she's in a serious but stable condition. Okay. I would recommend you come down to the hospital as soon okay, as yeah, possible. Um, yeah, I'll be there as soon as I can. Thank you. What is it? Um, and my mum's been taken to the hospital. Serious? Yeah, I need to be there. Control, this is Kilo 220. My colleague needs to go state 11. Happens to everyone. It's a symbol of my undying affection. Both inside and outside of this room. Well, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. as it looks. Okay. Much worse. <laughs> How is she? Uh, can you get on the radio? Should I get a hold of my dad? Uh, he's on call tonight. Control, this is Kilo 220. Can someone check on the whereabouts of Chief Superintendent Vickers, please? He's on call tonight, I see him again. Control, can you uh, double check that, please? He's not working tonight. Kilo 220, do you need assistance? Nah, someone must have made a mistake. He asked me to check on her. Look, just don't worry about him right now. Just concentrate on your mum. Jake. <clears throat> surgery 20 minutes ago. She had fluid in her lung and they had to drain it. Gave her something to help her breathe better. And the cancer? They sent biopsies off for testing. 
How was work? I'm gonna go in and sit with her. Why don't you go home and rest? Simon? Felix! That looks ripe. That's fine. Let's begin by making it known Min's handlers booby trapped the house. He wasn't involved. My client is a victim of people trafficking and forced to work against his wishes. Are we on the same side? Okay, Min. What we need you to do now is to formally identify those in charge of the gang who trafficked you. Are you up for this? Yep. Because if your head ain't in the right place, I need to know. Same and nutter in the allotment. Serious criminals in there. Yeah, just get me in there. Now, if you want. Get in again, mate. Mind your head. There you go. Feet in. Jake, come here. Yeah. I'm sorry things are bad for you. I'm sorry your mum's ill. And your dad's an arsehole. But you leave that at the door, okay? Okay? Okay. Good, come on. Jake, I want to talk. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Because if we start talking, I won't tell you how little I think about you. I might tell you how pathetic I think you are. I might tell you how everyone at the station laughs at you and how they don't respect you and how neither do I, so I don't think it's a good idea. And you were right, by the way, about the whole self-defence thing. Wait till someone's vulnerable, then knock them down. Good advice, Dad. Presumptuous. No, it's not. <laughs> 